today we're going to do the full review on the uh, SVC front off-road kit. Uh, so we have our upper control arms, lower control arms, uh, the king shocks, everything that comes in the kit. We're going to go out there in the desert, blast it, give you guys a full review, and it's going to be an awesome day. I'll see you out there. going on guys? Josh Rowe here. We're just kind of pulled over on the side of the road, took some uh, drone shots, the highway, and trying to get the sunset in. We are on our way out to Anza to meet up with some of our friends, and we're going to go shred some raptors today. It's pretty stoked to show you guys. Let's get to driving. Yakutio exit. We're gonna meet up with everyone at Fish Creek. I think this is a good time to do a road review. Just kind of talk about how the truck handles on road. Since you're spending a lot of money on the mid travel kit, I'm sure you guys want to know how it handles on road, not just off road. The on road is incredible. It drives smooth, it handles bumps extremely well. It's not harsh. Only thing that you have to be aware of when you buy this kit is you are going wider, so your turn radius is not as great. Maybe if you go into a parking spot, it's gonna be a two-point turn instead of a one-point turn like it usually was. Um, but that is my only gripe about it. I mean, you go wider, you just are gonna have to deal with the wheelbase and the turn radius not being what it used to be but that's okay to me because you have more travel and you have more room for the tires to move when you're going over all the fun stuff that you wanna do in the desert. So a little give and take there, um, but honestly, it's not much. The SVC mid travel kit can 100% handle on road driving as your daily driver. And that is without question, this thing is a beast. So in case there were guys out there wondering, um, yeah, you can totally drive this on road. What's up guys? We took the Akatio exit and uh, once you get off there, you come down to Placer City and we're about to head down this trail right here um, to the Superstition Mountains until we reach uh, Fish Creek. I'm excited to put this mid-travel through its paces, but it's an absolutely beautiful day. Couldn't ask for better, better weather. It's about 70 degrees out here. It's not too hot, not too cold. down the trail. I've hit this trail a lot in the past with stock Raptor. I mean, I had kick shocks on the front, but they were just the bolt-ons and I still had the stock uppers and lowers. The cool thing about this kit is it feels like a completely different truck out here. I am hitting whoops like it is nothing. I am so impressed with this kit. In a huge whoop. And it ate it like nothing. See, I was a little concerned going into that one. I'm gonna turn around and see if I can get that footage for you because that is sick. Hitting it at 60 miles an hour. And ease it up like it's nothing. Holy crap, guys. That is incredible. <laughs> oh. All right, that, that's so sick. So what you guys are seeing on that footage there is the full length of the mid-travel eating up 
into the wheelbase and that's why you get the wire tire base you need the travel if you're gonna hit stuff like that at high speeds which this thing <laughs> can do effortlessly oh that is insane I gotta go pick up my camera because that was so sick We messed around Fish Creek. We uh, really put this uh, mid travel through its paces over by the. We got straight shots going 100 miles per hour. And let me tell you, this thing is handling everything that we throw at it. And so we got Ryan over here. So he has the full SVC kit, except he's running Fox Shocks and I'm running King Shocks. And let me tell you, both systems are flawless. They're doing great. Uh, but man, truck is dirty, which I think it's looking best when she is dirty so it means we're having a good time out here about to uh, put the drone in the air get some more footage here for you guys so let's get it guys to answer the question of the title is the SBC mid travel kit worth it the answer is yes you cannot find a full-size pickup that runs as well as this does off-road unless you're going into the race class series trucks this is made for being a daily driver that you can take out have fun with doing whatever you want to do off-road SBC did a great job with this kit you will not be disappointed when you buy it that's my two cents guys hope you like my review drop a like and do not forget to subscribe I'll catch you guys next time peace